What is up guys? This is Jay from UniDB Studios. In today's video I'm gonna show you my favorite EQ and I'm gonna tell you why it's my favorite. This is the guitar I have already mixed. It's from a full mix from a full song. And I'm gonna tell you right now why Fab Filter is my favorite. So let's pull out a Fab Filter Pro Q. I'm gonna let the beat play just to show you what it does. You can see Fab Filter is showing the wavelength from the, the guitar or anything that is plugged into the Fab Filter. What is interesting with this EQ is whenever you boost, or lower a frequency, you can either choose either you EQ the stereo only, which is all side, all mid, or you can change it for only the mid and only the side, or you can even put right, left, whatever. Like there's a frequency that you don't like on the left side, remove it, okay? So let me show you how it's done. If I take this guitar by example, I would want to boost a little bit of the mid eye range from this guitar, so let's do it. So as you can see, I've boosted in 1381 hertz and I've boosted with the stereo, okay? So I'm gonna change between the stereo, the mid, and the sides, just so you can tell the difference. I noticed a lot of difference there. So what happens is whenever you boost the sides, from this frequency, what happens is it's gonna let the mid tone from the, the, the guitar as it is, but you're gonna put a little bit of, you're gonna get a lot of dynamics from the sides if you boost only the side. Let me take another EQ, another frequency here, but I'm gonna boost only the mid this time. In most music, whatever you want is the bass to be mono and the other instruments to be stereo. But for the sake of this video, this guitar, I'm gonna only boost the mid-range from the bass notes of the guitar, okay? So if I put this, the side, you're gonna hear the difference. can already hear a big difference here. Let me just EQ it right. There you go. I'm gonna show you without the fab filter and I'm gonna show you with it. This is without. This is wit. So as you can see, the lower notes from the guitars are a lot higher since I've boosted the mid-tone from the, the low bass notes. And on the high ends, you can hear there's a little bit more dynamics on the high ends. And that's actually for controlling your instrument whenever you have it with a full beat. Let me give you an example. So 
So in the phone mix, we already have a bass. Faz algum tempo. So what, what you want to do maybe on this particular mix, I will probably boost the low bass notes, but I'm going to stereoize it. So if I only uh, solo the bass and the guitar As you can see, since I've boosted only the sides from my guitar, the bass notes from my guitar are not clashing with the bass. That's actually just boosting a little bit of the bass notes from the guitar. It blends well because you stereoize kind of the bass, but without touching the bass. What you do is you stereoize your guitar on the bass notes of the guitar. It can enhance a little bit of the feeling from the bass. By example, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna now boost the high ends from the guitar while the bass is playing, just to show you a little bit of what you can do with the side, mid, or the stereo on the Fab Filter. Let's check it out. So as you can hear, it adds a lot of dynamics from the guitar because I'm only boosting the sides while letting the mono track uh, mono. So every information that is mono on the guitar stays mono, but I'm only boosting the sides, which is left and right at the same time. What is also cool with this little EQ, let me remove those. What is cool is, by example, you are getting a note that is stereo you can add another node right here which is stereo as well but if i'm putting only mid as you can see now this node doesn't interfere with this one and if i pop another one which i'm going to put right in the middle of them like that and i'm going to put the sides each node is going to act independently which means the stereo node doesn't interfere with the side node, and the side node doesn't interfere with the mid node. Let's see what it can do with that.
So as you can see here on my EQ, each node doesn't affect the other. By example, if I take all those nodes and I've put them on stereo, this is what my EQ is going to look like. You see, each nodes are affecting the entire stereo signals, which means you get some kind of wavy signal from the EQ. If, by example, I put the bass notes on sides for not clashing with the bass, I let the middle note on stereo because I want to uh, edit the entire stereo from the guitar. But on the high end, I want to add a little bit of mid informations. Basically, each one is going to act independently, giving me this sound in the end. Let me show you the difference between with the EQ and without. So this is without the EQ. And this is with. As you can see, it blends pretty well right now. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you for watching.